Hey guys, what's up? It's Justin from Game Index bringing you another Modern Warfare 3 video. Now, in today's video, we're going to be talking about the extremely awesome power of the CM901. That's right, I said it. CM901, it's a very great assault rifle. You unlock it early in the game, and it's just really great because it has the exact same... Hang on, let me check my notes because I actually wrote this down for once. It has the same damage per bullet as the AK-47 and the same damage at range as the AK-47. But so that those are the two guns that I'm going to be uh, comparing in this video. Now I know my past videos they've been okay, they've been all right. But in today's video I'm going to be uh, doing a different approach. I'm going to be doing a fact a more factual approach. Let me look at my notes here. Power of the CM901. The accuracy of this weapon is 65 compared to the others in its class. And uh, because of the um, rate of fire is so low, it has slower recoil compared to the AK. So, uh, this might sound a little strange to you, but it's 666 is the rate of fire and 689 is the rate of fire for the AK. And so, clearly, the AK wins this bout, but that also means that the AK would have more recoil. Now, that means less bullets on target. So, I would prefer really the CM901 mo mostly because the rate of fire is slower, which means more bullets get on target, and that means that you get the kill mo more more percent of the time. Now, this is just... Uh, 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 uh. This is a really great gun. I started using it a couple days ago, actually, and I just I wanted to share it with you guys because it's a really great gun. Almost as awesome as the Type 95 in my very first video. The uh, Type 95 also is really good, too, so yeah. The draw time to take it out if you're switching from your secondary to your um to this primary weapon is 0.75 of a second so yeah that's that's very little now uh since i actually i actually just prestige so i haven't unlocked all the stuff yet i think i'm like level 38 so i just got a couple of perks that yeah so uh i don't have a lot of stuff but what i ran with this class for some strange reason i actually ran sleight of hand with this class but you you should actually because of the mag size and if you're going for this higher kill streaks and you got the mag size and it's only 60 uh yeah that that's right only 60 so uh you need scavenger for this one i actually use sleight of hand even though you don't really need it because the reload time for this weapon is 2.33 seconds uh and the uh, reload time for the ak is 2.5 seconds so the anything over 2.7 really that needs sleight of hand so yeah the reload time you don't really need sleight of hand with the cm901 but with the ak i think you should because it's a little bit more takes a little bit more time to uh get the mag out and put a new one in so yeah that's a really good one so now we're on to uh level unlock now according to my notes that i got going on here the level unlock for the cm901 is the is level 31 now that's really early in the game right off the bat because Leveling up is so easy in this game early on, but as you get harder, it, of course, it makes sense that it's harder. So, yeah. So, it's easy to unlock, and that's just great, because it has, if you want something that has the same power as the AK, and is really good and awesome in, in strength and, and little recoil, this is definitely the gun for you. As for the AK-47, if you're more of that fan, because I know that in all the, most of the previous Call of Duties, and uh, I think Black Ops 2 has this, AK-47U. This has been a very popular weapon, so yeah, this it's it takes a while to unlock, but if you're that kind of guy and you like that uh that gun better, go for it. I guess yeah. But if you're planning on prestiging a lot, you should uh, you should use the prestige token to unlock gear. I actually used it to unlock the Type 95 because I love it so much. But yeah, if you want to do that, you can do that. So now we're on to the last segment. What I have going on here is uh barely any recoil for the cm901 now you've probably noticed that as i'm using this weapon i have the red dot sign on is uh, uh red dot sight not sign that would be weird that would be weird so yeah what i got uh the reason why i put the um red dot sight on there is because with the iron sight it doesn't look too good it has it has a little ring around it whoa sure watch out it has a little ring around it, and then it has the real iron sight that you use to, to aim. 
So I'm not a big fan of that because it kind of cuts off your field of vision around around the thing. Like as opposed to the red dot sight, it gives you a little bit better field of vision because it's wider, and so you can see more peripherally, which helps when there's enemies flanking from the sides and and all that all that nonsensical nonsensical stuff. So yeah, moving on to the AK-47, the the recoil is super high because of the rate of fire is uh, way faster in comparison to the CM-901. Uh, the recoil is moderate to high recoil. What that basically means is that it has more recoil than a lot of guns. So that's really good, or ugh, I'm sorry. It's really bad when you're trying to to aim for a headshot because if you aim too high and then you get the recoil because you're holding the trigger down for too long you're not going to get the kill because you, the recoil is just going to go straight up rocketing through the sky and you don't want that in a gun so that's why I chose the CM901 this has been a really great great gun that I've been using and uh, there goes my sister she actually just walked in front of the camera on accident Oh man, that was really bad. So anyway, I'm going to be talking a little bit about the map terminal. Now I know in my last video I've talked about the map terminal before with uh, my cousin Julian. He actually showed me some teddy bears. So I'm going to be talking about a little bit more of the teddy bear t type of thing. And uh, what you want to do to find the teddy bears, you look behind stuff. Like uh, what Infinity War did for this game, they put um, teddy bears behind a bunch of spots where, where people would normally camp. So I think there might be some in the plane, in terminal, but I know in like arcade and at the Burger Town, there's a giant teddy bear right behind where Burger Town is. You can go into spectator mode and watch that. It's it's pretty cool. So yeah, I'm running out of time now. So yeah, this has been a really great game. This is the game I was hoping for for a little bit, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. More stuff coming soon, including Minecraft videos. Video to, uh, tutorial world secrets in Minecraft, so that that's really exciting. And we got World of Warcraft um, videos uh, coming out soon, also, and Black Ops 2 when it comes out because uh, Black Ops 2 is going to be a major hit. Wow, that took a long time to kill that guy. He was an entire mag. But yeah, Black Ops 2 seems really fun. I heard that actually that uh, the guns are going to sound different and more realistic as they would in different areas so like if you're in a tunnel it'll sound a little echoey and if you're in a field it's gonna sound uh, how it would in a, in a field in regular fields and stuff like that so yeah black ops black ops 2 seems really fun and they're they keep zombies on there so I'm really excited about getting that and if you pre-order it like I did which was awesome because I remember playing back in Nuketown and that's awesome I'm so glad that they started bringing back maps and they actually brought back Nuketown, but now Nuketown's in the future. So what they're going for now is a futuristic looking Nuketown. And so yeah, futuristic Nuketown 2025 is coming out Black Ops 2, November 26th I believe is the release date. And so yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. I hope I catch you next time. This has been Justin bringing you a Modern Warfare 3 video. I don't know how to exit this ex exit tro. Yeah, so yeah, that's really, yeah, yeah. Bum 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 bum. Hope you guys enjoyed. There will be more videos coming soon from Game Index, including from other commentaries. Goodbye. See you later.